channel. Continuing with the Land Rover Series 2A88 suffix B rebuild. In the all the initial videos that I started working on has been around the chassis. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can see I've got the front end on and um, back end and let's get back to the um, to the 2.25 three bearing diesel motor. <coughs> um, I basically attempted to do a bit of a clean up as you can see down here of uh, trying to remove all the crud that's around it. Um, so far I have been fairly unsuccessful. Problem is I can't just use a, uh, a gurney because all that crud has got to go somewhere and um, well pretty much the other half will kill me if I uh, made a mess outside. So I'll have to think about how to further clean that. But anyway, I pull the, the rocker cover off and um, just as a bit of a, an initial look in and she seems pretty um, pretty good from the outside. No obvious signs of damage that I can see at this point in time. The cover itself inside is pretty clean. <clears throat> uh, so what I'm going to end up doing is I'll probably just leave this here for the moment <clears throat> and uh, I might actually start looking at removing the glow plugs to see whether or not any of those are damaged as in the, the mesh element that glows is damaged and that will give me an indication whether or not if they have been damaged then obviously the um, the combustion chamber for that cylinder may be affected by the by the remnants of metal. Now uh, in terms of the clutch I did pull the clutch out, the original one that was on this motor and um, it has been sitting for a long time because the flywheel has quite a bit of um, surface rust on it just like this friction plate here has. Um, clutch itself looks to be okay um, these little springs are, are fine. It's actually quite a small clutch. I'm actually quite surprised. I was expecting something a bit bigger than that. Um, this plate here um, with this style fingers is not usable, I believe, on my 2A gearbox. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, when I remove the gearbox, I'm also going to remove the clutch assembly from that one. I know it's okay, but of course I'll inspect it closer to the to the time, and uh, and may use that if it's reusable. Um, the other thing I noticed was when I did pull it, pull apart the entire clutch assembly, there was no spigot um, bush at the end of the crank, <clears throat> which is a bit of a concern. Uh, there didn't seem to be any damage, but there was no um, certainly no um, bush in there, so it doesn't really matter. I was going to replace that anyway. But yeah, anyway, there's uh, still a whole lot of crud and so on to remove from this. But I'll um, I'll try to film what I can. I've got a whole lot of videos of when I did the top end on the 2.25 petrol on the 109. I don't think I'm going to repeat that because it's effectively going to be the same. Re removing the um, the rocker assembly, pulling this all apart, inspecting it, you know, replacing where I can, what needs to be replaced, then taking the head off, and um, you know, doing that kind of work but as I go through whatever I think may be of use or of interest to you viewers then I'll um, post something up the joys so anyway watch this space and I'll update as I go along thanks for watching